My name is Nikki Wangsgaard, I'm a pro cyclist and I specialize in sprinting. My first experience with oxygen was at Speed Week last year, 2011. My teammates shared the product with me and I was willing to do anything I could to achieve my goals. I was coming off an, in an, an injury, wasn't sure how I was going to feel and after the first day I was in sixth place. My teammates believed in me and thought, wow, Nikki, you could possibly win this or at least be on the podium at the end. And that's exactly what happened every day uh, using oxygen. I recovered. Um, I was able to sprint at the end. And, and I, I think every stage my power got better and better. And I've been using it since then. In training, I have oxygen by my side and before I do my interval efforts I take several shots of oxygen and what it does is it helps me reach limits that I probably wouldn't have been able to reach. My heart rate doesn't reach the limit that it sometimes reaches. I can be able to sustain that power longer and I feel faster, I feel stronger and I feel like my effort was the best effort I could possibly produce. I also use oxygen in competition. I have a couple of them in my jersey pocket and I, there's a mountain I need to climb, there's an effort I need to dig deep for. I take several shots and I'm able to do it. And I also use it um, as a recovery right after the race, um, especially if I, there's several stages coming up. I recover faster and I feel stronger the next day. If you've ever trained at altitude, then raced at sea level and felt like you had all the oxygen you needed to have high power, do exactly what you wanted to do in that race, those same effects will happen with oxygen for energy.